For many years now, consensus has emerged from Nigerians that fundamental cause of the country's chronic underdevelopment is bad leadership characterized by insane corruption amongst the ruling elite. But then a sober reflection would indicate that at the root of corruption is hypocrisy, which often serves as a veneer for covering up the deep character flaws, especially in prominent politicians, public servants and the elite generally. Like every other behavioral quality, people manifest different levels of hypocrisy depending on complex genetic and environmental factors. It is beyond dispute that top public figures, especially politicians, celebrities and political office holders, just like influential clerics, have elevated hypocrisy to the level of an art. Many celebrities regularly give eloquent and inspiring motivational speeches and pretend to be paragons of virtue, whereas their private lives are chaotic and fake the very opposite of what they profess in public. Many Nigerians are increasingly coming to the realization that the 2023 election is of utmost importance to vote the right person and the last election rank as one of the greatest triumphs of hypocrisy in Nigerian's political history. Nigerian election is either rigged in by the powerful cabal who organized the elections or voted in by a populace that is more concerned with ethnicity and religion than with the progress of the nation. The consequence has been backwardness and disappointment. A mediocre leader cannot transform a country. It is worse when the country is such a diverse and complex one like Nigeria. Ironically, Nigerians celebrate brilliant leaders of other countries. They know those who have the capacity to transform Nigeria and and those who do not have capacity. In conclusion, as Nigerian gallops towards 100 years of amalgamation, one of the most contentious issues have been the place of quota system and meritocracy in government. Meritocracy campaigners argue the Nigeria is backward because public offices are not filled on the basis of merit. They contend that we promote mediocrity under the guise of federal character by not giving the jobs to the best candidate. In other words, let there be open competition for both elective and appointive positions so that the most qualified would always occupy them. These standpoints means that there should be no zoning or rotation of political offices. There should be no quota system and federal character. We are in a very interesting times. As people, you don't need a prophet to tell you that a nation with Nigeria's youth unemployment rate will be violent as more and more politicians are throwing themselves into the ring for various public offices. Remember, it is your vote that will validate your choice on election day. Pick up your voter's card and choose the right leader and secure your future. You welcome back. What a great mini feature. Yes. Um, my co-host has become a political juggernaut. <laughs> In fact, this your mini feature is great. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Yeah. That's a great one. <laughs> and I sense. hope it sells and it makes sense to people who listen who to listening. it. Because you just went to the cocoa, you went to the foundation of the yeah. problems of hypocrisy and mediocrity in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, our guest is still along with, uh, around with us. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you two you listen to what uh, sh she does did. Yes, I do. I want your comment, introductory comment, before I begin to ask questions. Well, <laughs> well um, I think um, hypocrisy, mediocrity, mediocrity has because become let me just uh, to help you out there. Very well. You see, true, this thing has given us a lot of wahala in this country. Mm -hmm. Trouble and problems. Things which ought, not to, uh, which ought to be done easily are done through the back door or not done at all. Mm -hmm. All because you see the right thing and do it, doing it the wrong thing, mm -hmm. picking the wrong person to fill in the right place. As they say it in English, using the square peg in the right That's hole right. In the, uh, and things like that. That's hypocrisy and um, the second one is what? Uh, mediocrity. mediocrity. I become the bane of a democratic process. You know, once uh, you become you become a public figure, mm -hmm. you lose sight of the 
pulse of the people whom you are to represent, you begin to listen to praise singers or what we call psychophants mm. who usually at your beck and call to advise you. Some of them are your advisors. So you, you, would, you wouldn't see beyond your noses and that will impair your, your performance and the expectations of the people. So we have become so hypocritic in a way that we, we, we become pretentious about things. You know, we, we begin to, you know, t see things the way it ought not to have been seen. And on the other aspect of it, which borders on not allowing credible persons to lead us based on tribalism, nepotism, whatever be the consideration or political consideration, we are now left with this person is my own. Mm -hmm. You know, he's our own. Mm -hmm. Whether he rightly or wrongly, he must be there at all costs. So if you look at Nigeria system generally, I don't want to mention a particular tribe, but mm -hmm. you begin to see that it appears that it is one set of people that has continuously been in leadership position in this country. Okay. And that's, is that how it's supposed to be? I'm not against people from any other geopolitical zone being represented. Mm. But the point I'm making is that we must get the right person, irrespective of where that person comes sure. from. Okay. There's this cliche in Nigeria, we call it eye service. Can we fit in into this one? That's the local palace, eye service. Can it work? That's with it. Go, goes with this. <laughs> That's a psycho fancy. You go, you find politics in Nigeria is about psycho fancy. The truth of you cannot even become a good politician in Nigeria if you are not a psycho fan. That is the unwritten truth. If you are not a psycho fan, you cannot be a good politician. But it's not supposed to because be. you must be seen licking the asses of those who are in power, okay. and that maybe you will be compensated. That's at the end of the day, okay, this person has served me faithfully. It is not about serving Nigeria faithfully. But me. You have served me, yes, exactly, faithfully. So you must be compensated. Go and become no. the chairman of a local government. Go no. and become no. this. No, now that you went there, you just, you just get us, you just bring out these things. No, that's, that's what we call loyalty. Do you yes. Know? Yeah, that's they say they are loyal. And, if any, and we have seen people who have, been, who have suffered. They that's are very false good. loyalty. They are very good. But because they are not loyal as it is, as it's perceived by yes, their political yes. leaders, they are now put to the dustbin. Yeah, because many of them. Yeah, loyalty. So now that now has encouraged psychophancy. Exactly. So because loyalty uh, in politics is psychophancy. <laughs> Once you begin to exert your right or you begin to say the truth no. as it were, you are no longer loyal. <laughs> <laughs> and you must be booted out. So it has become part and parcel of, of the our political process. Yes, Kai. where you must tell the leaders what they, they want, want to hear. know or hear, and not what is Should the truth be. or what is obtainable. Can this thing actually stop this part of the? <laughs> oh, of course, it can. It's but it takes the willingness of the people. It Good. is not just about the politics. Yes. It's now fall down on the people mm. to realize that what goes around comes around it's like a rat race mm. when you are supporting someone because of peanut you are getting mm. how will your children go to school what will be the economy situation because economy doesn't care who you are supporting mm -hmm. or who you supported at the time mm -hmm. so that damage will not only affect you it will also affect your own children and society at large so we have to have this consciousness that is a rat race whatever we do will come back to us in a way either directly or indirectly, if we have that at the back of our minds, we will begin to do the proper thing. We will begin to say the truth to power. We we'll begin, especially those who are close to corridors of power, to advise those who has their listening ears. Because it is very key. When a leader is in power, he gets all sort of information. And at some point, he finds it very difficult mm -hmm. to make an informed decision. Mm. He falls back at those whom he trusts. Mm. So those are the people mm -hmm. that will tell him the truth. But because you, you look at the political terrain, you want to please your paymaster. Say, mm -hmm. who, the, who pays the tune? Who the, how do they put it? Who pays the piper? So that means the tune. So instead of you to tell, oh God, this is not 
obtainable. Uh, this is the perception of the people. Uh, this is the impression of people about uh, us. Uh, Can we do it this way? You say no. You have praise singers. You see some governors <laughs> move around with even a, a band. You know, if they make a statement, they start dancing. Yes. This is the, the psychology of politicians we have in this country, <laughs> and that is what they want. <laughs> So, do you have, do you have yeah, uh, we, we have messages, messages of course, yes. <laughs> Anyways, this one says, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. No patriotism and national interest in Nigeria because of ethnic, religious, sentiment, personal interest, etc. Uh, Barista Wale, please, what is the legality of a state governor appointing 200,000 special assistants when election is approaching <laughs> and make executive order and make okay and make executive order that any political party that wants to use public facility to pay ridiculous fee before accessibility now is that democracy thank you sir for the wonderful work <laughs> professor charles from lagos uh, professor yes. <laughs> why the professor they ask ordinary me like this <laughs> that can't be question now <laughs> How do you want a ordinary person like me to answer a whole prof <laughs> this kind of question? But anyway, since you talked about legal, that's my truth. It's mm. legally, he is constitutionally given the power. He has a constitutional right to run the government. It is for you people to look at it if it's all right or not. Next time you vote such person out. You see, that is all the things we are talking on this program. And we pray that of God, God will use this program to turn and make sanitize Nigeria. Mm. And it's about national interest. Is it in the interest of is it not in the interest of a nation that such appointments will be made? You need to look at it. So once we now we determine that, then it's in your hand. The power is with you. Mm. You are the one that will determine mm. type of people that will govern over you, that will be your leaders, so as to ensure that good governance does not suffer. And I want to really be yeah, if I can just uh, yes, because, because, that, because that yeah, issue of appointing yeah, governors are two hundred thousand special thousand. Yes, that's what it puts So there. you know, for me, I will uh, let me not do the work of the security agencies. Uh -huh. It's actually a form of um, I, I don't know how to put it so that I don't um, sound so personal. Mm -hmm. but, but the point is that it is unacceptable. Yes. Mm -hmm. For a governor mm. or any political office holder mm. to appoint two hundred thousand persons as advisors, mm. what are they advising? They are, they are political. How many? The entire community. How many are, are there? He will tell you the advice. So you mean every day these two hundred thousand persons will line up and be advising you on what? No, 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 no. We have this kind of political see, setup. The, the, mm. the purpose of this is actually to pay. Back. those political jobbers uh, just to pay those who were instrumental yes. to your success uh, to power uh, is a compensation period mm. and you see more often than not this thing comes during the end of a person's tenure yes. you know use it as a, like a father christmas mm. a jambo everybody come and take your share mm. for a job well done mm. and we go back mm. with that perception mm. we'll go nowhere mm. okay and, and the second leg of your is if anybody does well if yeah. you perform very well, you don't need that number of people. No, yes. Yes. yes, you don't need two hundred thousand so persons. It's, 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 it's an it's a abnormal abnormality uh, it's an abnormal. to have two hundred thousand oh, yeah. persons it's as advisors. It's going to show that in a senior country, yes, the, those persons or those leaders who appoint this type of new number of persons mm. needs to go to they don't mental have, evaluation. They don't, they don't even, you need psychological they don't evaluation. Have, they don't how have do you? How do you justify 200,000 persons no, as advisors? We don't have such in this insane country, so it doesn't happen at all. Because at just all. as you said, sane. This is an insane country. Mm -hmm. So, have to be patriotic. Anyway. Okay, one question yes. is that uh, how about making executive order that uh, any political party that wants to use a public facility should pay a ridiculous amount of money before they can assess well, that facility? Done, uh, uh, because we change in its native point of view of uh, state legislature. Mm. No, it's an executive order, but to me it should be done across the board, not just uh, against political opponents. I have mm. seen, I've seen that, uh, uh, that that that, uh, that order yeah. by 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 governor, and which I know that definitely, if others in that in that state mm. can say no, if it applies to uh, to us, it must apply well, to your party yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. So, so then that's how it should be. It's a political strategy. Mm. So so again, we know the mm. 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 You know, it's like the hand of Esau in the body of Jacob. We know the reason behind some of those legislation or those executive order is targeted at certain individuals mm. and that is what we are discussing here 
that policies and programs uh, of government must be in the generality of the people. people. We don't say because you are fighting your opponent, mm. you make a, 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 a law or you make an executive order because of an individual. It mm. ought not to be so. Okay, the next uh, <laughs> message is who do we Nigerians think is suitable to rule this country with experience, <laughs> good governance, ideas, truthfulness, and fear of God? We should open our eyes to watch all the aspirants and mm. tell ourselves the right person, mm. not minding where he comes from. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Exactly. And to confirm that again, I've told you that the place to know who to vote for is through Voters Forum. Mm. This program called Voters Forum. Because by I'm sure... We are giving you the exposed gradually. Mm -hmm. By the time you get to the election proper, you have known that yes, this is the person we are going to vote for. Okay, you know, both Mr. national Mr. and local. Yeah, mm -hmm. so what I was thinking because you know, when you look at the election process in Nigeria mm. and the voting and all of that, mm. it appears that politicians have a way because we are discussing this. It's an elitist people people who has certain level of education mm. will be able to even interrogate mm. or make inquiries about a particular candidate mm. whether the person is right is good or not mm -hmm. those in the rural villages like Borono mm. and uh, as the case may be mm. may not have that competence mm. to make an informed decision some persons have advocated that we should have electoral college where certain persons will be eligible to vote mm -hmm. you know maybe it will be based on your educational qualification mm -hmm. or your status in the society because beyond the elites and the educated those illiterates i said it with greater respect mm -hmm. those in the rural areas mm -hmm. they don't even know those they are voting their mm -hmm. own is that they look up to a particular leader in their community yeah. who will now give them a direction yes. on who to vote and because that particular person in their community has some political affiliations mm -hmm. whether the candidate is right or wrong mm -hmm. we will push them so at the end of the day we we'll continue to have the same caliber of leadership mm. so beyond the voting citizens and voters must also be awake mm -hmm. yes. to scrutinize those who are vying for positions uh, of authority during the last uh, primary elections particularly of the two major political parties the electoral system was uh, the electoral correct system was used and we knew what happened a lot of money changed hands to the extent that of course some nigerians were saying that it's because of electoral college that we have the type of candidates we have foisted on us and many people will not like the idea of an electoral college because it it is fraught with irregularities yes. and fraud yes, yes. apart from inducement in this country taking into consideration the level of education that we are but be that as it may, is a view, and we appreciate it. And no, maybe uh, that's what will the happen. View, the view maybe is valid. Before the elections, maybe we'll discuss it, the importance, the implications of Electoral College. and No, uh, that and view is, is valid. Because you, you can even see it play mm. out mm. in the primary elections mm. of political mm. parties. Mm. Mm. Because at that level, mm. it's not everybody that is voting. Mm. Mm. about delegates from, from their own political mm. parties. Mm. So whoever they decide. In fact, somebody mentioned after the primary election of political parties that those delegates has actually vote um, are the ones that vote for who becomes the president yes for uh, whoever they vote within their primary uh, their political uh, level uh, uh, will eventually become the president or mm. governor okay. mm. uh, we i have two messages here okay this one says good afternoon it is only nigeria i see things going the wrong way most especially in this government everything about this government is just a failure another says people with bullion van going about freely and nothing has been done about it what a country we are in let's vote right and think right at the same time it is a time to shine our eyes indeed <laughs> indeed it's the time to shine our eyes that's why this program is on mm -hmm. for you to shine your eyes this is the time for us to organize ourselves and not to agonize not to be complaining 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 this time use this this your is time. your power this is your power not this and not to be talking mm -hmm. it is this alone that can do the magic use your thumb vote in the right candidates and of course nigeria will be a better place i do normally use the example of ghana ghana was in a state of pandemia years ago but here we are today to the extent that nigerians go to ghana for education even some people go to work in ghana mm -hmm. because the economy stability security 
all day in Yafu Yafu in Ghana, as we normally say. Mm. But before we go on our homework stretch, we'll take a break for us to have one or two uh, announcements. And of course, we'll take some, some messages, messages again. Oh. Again, Then our guests will hit the road home. Maybe we can release him to go for his Christmas New Year break. <laughs> now he don't pass. He don't pass. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Valley.